Pesticides and endocrine disruption, a surprising factor that increases obesity risk. Even in this age where food safety is a major concern, we are exposed to various risks. One of those risks is pesticide residue in our food. In fact, some pesticides can have harmful effects on our bodies. Today, based on a paper reviewed in 2024, we'll delve into the surprising connection between pesticides and obesity. Let's talk about pesticides and endocrine disruption. Pesticides are chemicals used to protect crops from pests and diseases. These pesticides can remain on the fruits and vegetables that reach our tables, and we might be ingesting them without even realizing it. Recent research suggests that some pesticides may act as endocrine disruptors, interfering with our body's hormonal balance. Now, let's consider the potential for pesticides to cause obesity. Endocrine disruptors can promote the growth of fat cells and the accumulation of fat, potentially increasing the risk of obesity. Furthermore, they've been flagged for possibly disrupting the hormones that control appetite, which could lead to overeating. What about animal studies? Animal studies also indicate that pesticide intake can lead to obesity. For instance, mice given a pesticide called chlorpyrifos showed significant weight gain and fat accumulation when fed a high-fat diet. However, these are results from animal experiments, and it's not certain if the same effects apply to humans. And at the cellular level? Pesticides may also impact obesity at the cellular level. In laboratory experiments where fat cells were exposed to pesticides, researchers observed accelerated fat cell differentiation and increased fat storage. What about at the genetic level? It's also suggested that pesticides might promote obesity by altering the expression of genes involved in lipid metabolism. For example, pyrethroid pesticides have been reported to increase the expression of genes that inhibit fat breakdown. Consider the impact on gut microbiota. There's also concern that pesticides might worsen obesity by disrupting the delicate balance of our gut bacteria. Our gut bacteria play a vital role in our overall health, and if pesticides throw off their balance, the risk of obesity and metabolic disorders could rise. A particular focus is on neonicotinoid. Neonicotinoid pesticides have drawn significant attention in recent years. These are insecticides that target the nervous systems of insects and are also known for their suspected link to declining bee populations. These neonicotinoid may also have endocrine-disrupting properties, raising concerns about their connection to obesity. So, what habits can we adopt? To reduce your exposure to pesticides, choosing organic produce when possible is a good option. Organic foods generally have lower pesticide residues because the use of synthetic chemical pesticides is restricted. However, even organic produce isn't always completely free of pesticides, so thoroughly washing your food and maintaining a balanced diet remain crucial. Washing produce while under running water and peeling it can help reduce pesticide residues. Seasonal fruits and vegetables might be grown with fewer pesticides, as they often have shorter growing cycles. For example, leafy greens like spinach and komatsuna, when grown outdoors in open fields during their peak season, may be treated with fewer pesticides. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For those who want to learn more, please check out our robustness newsletter on Substack.